Hello and welcome to another update video about Polygon. Polygon, yeah, um, formerly Matic, um, has not really recovered much today, even though many cryptocurrencies performed really well. And that is all adding up to my perspective that there is a good chance for a little bit further downside. We talked about that only yesterday. A lot of people asked again for another update for Polygon after today's price action, but really, there hasn't really been any significant movement. I mean, I gave you that target area yesterday. Okay, maybe not target, more like a resistance area, which is currently located between 35.2 cents and 38.3 cents, which is based on the decline, the current decline from that top of the, of the wave two, yeah? And I did tell you that, you know, until we get above 38.3 cents, um, ideally even in five waves, there is no indication at all that a low has been established. At the moment, yeah, I mean, a local low, maybe, but that would only be, you know, we talked yesterday about this as a possible smaller degree wave four with one more low to come in wave five of C of three. So this is still the perspective that we could be here only in a wave four corrective rally. It's only a three wave move up clearly from a low for a bottoming confirmation. We need minimally five waves, better five waves with a break above resistance. And the resistance area is, as I said, between 35.2 cents and 38.3 cents. And that's here, this area, right? And then, yeah, if we get one more low, it would be wave five of C of circle three, then another four five pattern would be ideal. So one more low would be needed to complete wave five of C of circle three. And then, yeah, this additional four five pattern would be, would be ideal. Um, possibly targeting here 28.4 cents 25 cents, 21.5 cents next um, with one more low in wave five. But before we actually start circle four and that resistance area is already calculated and defined for circle four, just because this micro yeah, wave count, it, it doesn't necessarily need another low. It would look best with one more low, but we might already be in circle four. But what we clearly haven't established yet, or at least the price doesn't really tell us that, is a substantial low, right? Because we could only say that this is the case with a five wave move up, followed by a three wave move down, and that initial five wave move up should break above the uh, the initial resistance area. So one, two, three, four, ideally get a break above resistance. Even if we don't get that, I mean, a five wave move up would already help to build a case that a low has formed. But yeah, I think next support levels are clear. Um, the structure from the low is also clear. It's only a three wave move up, so it's not clearly bullish. And the downside Fibonacci extensions, which are defined based on um, based on the target for the C wave down yeah, here. Well, again, they are defined between the 61.8 and 100% extension. So I would not be you know, too bullish. A lot of people said yesterday that, you know, that Polygon will make it and Polygon will go here and there. Yeah, but there's just no setup at the moment to support it. There's just no setup. There are only some support levels but not yet any setup from the lows. And just look at price action. I mean, it's been extremely weak, especially compared to other coins. I'm not saying it will die. And some people ask me, does it still have a chance? I mean, there's always a chance. And, you know, it, it just needs to give us a local setup on a smaller time frame that we could use. Because it's been correcting since March. And without a local setup, I mean, it could just carry on for, for several months, right? So that's the difference between acting on a setup and, and hoping for something. So we always want to wait for a setup, watch for a setup, have a first confirmation that a low has been established. Then subsequent pullbacks can be good entries in a possibly unfolding uptrend. So that's the update about Polygon. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.